Good morning, Cosmic. It's wonderful to be here. As you can see, I'm outside today enjoying the sunshine and the birds singing in the background. Can you hear them? Well, today we're looking at Jesus's heart and in particular, Jesus's happiness. And I want to start just by reading to you from Hebrews chapter 12 and verses 1 to 3. And I'm reading from my extreme teen Bible, so bear with me. Following, follow Jesus's example. We have around us many people whose lives tell us what faith means. So let us run the race that is before us and never give up. We should remove from our lives anything that, that would get in the way and the sin that so easily holds us back. Let us look only to Jesus, the one who began our faith and who makes it perfect. He suffered death on the cross, but he accepted the shame as if it were nothing because of the joy that God put before him. And now he is sitting at the right side of God's throne. Think about Jesus' example. He held on while wicked people were doing evil things to him. So do not get tired and stop trying. Wow, isn't that cool? It reminds us that we need to follow the example that Jesus set for us and that it isn't easy. And it reminds us just how hard it was for Jesus that he held on while wicked people were doing evil things to him. So we need to be encouraged not to be tired and give up, even though sometimes situations are difficult. The reason I wanted you to look at the things that make you happy this morning in that first activity is because I think for me, the, the key to remembering to, to look to Jesus and the example he led is to be excited about sharing in his happiness. And here we have an example that might seem weird. And we've just celebrated Easter and the Friday where Jesus was crucified, where he um, died, is often referred to, uh, it's called Good Friday. And people always say to me, James, why do Christians call the day that Jesus died Good Friday? Surely it should be called Horrible Friday, um, Gloomy Friday, anything that's not Good Friday. But it's called Good Friday for the exact reason it says here. You see, it says here that he, that's Jesus, suffered death on the cross, but he accepted the shame as if it were nothing. And you think, well, how, why? Well, it tells us because of the joy that God put before him. Hold on to that thought. Seeing other people excited or happy and knowing that I've played a part in that makes me happy. It gives me joy. And that's exactly what this is talking about here in the Bible. Jesus only went, was able to, to bear the awful pain and shame that he did because he saw the happiness that that was going to bring to everybody who believes in him and asks him for forgiveness. Jesus loves it when we go to him and say sorry and ask for forgiveness. Often for me, I've always thought, when I was, especially when I was younger, that I didn't want to say sorry for things because it meant I had to own up for being wrong. But Jesus loves that because when we ask him for forgiveness, he's able to give us it. And when he gives us it, we know the joy of being forgiven, of being loved, of being accepted. And that's the joy, the happiness that Jesus gets in his heart. He wants us to share in his love and his happiness. And we can give him happiness by allowing him to help us in a situation and with the things that we can't help ourselves with. So this week, I really want to encourage you to be honest with God and to ask God for help in areas that you struggle with, but also for you to see opportunities to share God's happiness with others. So you stay safe, hope you enjoy the rest of activities for today, and I hope you have a really blessed week. And until next week, take care and God bless. Bye.